Hi, I was just down here over the weekend and before these got put into the new studio at Octave Records, I wanted to show you these things because they are cool. These are the Agnew, J.I. Agnew out of uh, Greece, crazy man, but, uh, but brilliant. He designed, built all these customized, look at him. This is six channels of reverb, of high voltage vacuum tube reverb. And you can use them as three stereo or mono or whatever you want. These are the actual reverbs and then over here is the power supply that goes into it. And I wanna show you here, I'm gonna just grab the camera and, and do something very, very, very silly. Let's, let's just go up and take a look at these beauties. Isn't that cool? Look at those guys. Those are the world's only, to my knowledge, customized reverbs that are all vacuum tube based. And I'm gonna show you, let's turn these around. And you can see, we haven't got the vacuum tubes installed yet, but, but have a look. I'm gonna just run the camera inside. And you can see, there's the vacuum tube sitting on top. There's the reverb unit. Let's see if I can I'll pull this back a little bit. This is the actual reverb unit right here. And then this is the amplifier with its input and output, it all balanced in and out. And, oops, here I'll show you. Um, this, oh, you're heavy. This is the power supply. And you can see back here, take a look. See inside there? Yeah, that's the power supply. That big old rectifier tube, see that? See the rectifier tube? Yeah, isn't that great? So these dogs are going into the studio and I couldn't be more excited. I can't wait to hear what this sounds like because up to this day, we've been using either a plate reverb, which is fine. A lot of people use plate reverbs um, and a electronic reverb. So let me tell you about a plate reverb first. So a plate reverb is just a giant sheet of steel, like one of those, they're heavy, they're, you know, two or 300 pounds. But just picture a very thin sheet of steel suspended usually on springs, the ones that we use, it's like a big four by eight sheet of steel. And we take um, a little transducer, a basically the motor out of a loudspeaker, and we place it onto that steel plate and then there's an amplifier inside it plays the speaker and the speaker vibrates the big steel plate and then you take a microphone and you put it somewhere along the plate so that as the sound travels down the plate it causes well it sounds like a plate but it also causes a time delay which is reverb and it's very specific if you hear plates and we'll try and I don't know if we're going to go with a plate or not. I, I haven't decided yet. They're very big. They're very cumbersome. This, on the other hand, is called a spring reverb. Now, spring reverbs in the past, I mean, these were these crazy things in cars. And I remember my cousin, Don, had a spring reverb in his, in his 63 split window Corvette. And he'd be playing stuff on his, on his he had a 45 RPM record player in the car with a spring reverb. And every time we go over a bump, you <laughs> hear this spring bouncing up and down. Th these are very sophisticated, but it it's, it's basically the same sort of thing that we were talking about to where you have a transducer and it, it plays whatever you feed it and that goes down the spring, which causes the delay and then there's a pickup along the spring. Now what's unusual about these is First off, the way that J.I. built the springs are, are pretty amazing. And secondly, what's driving it, vacuum tube uh, power amplifier and pickup, all so that we can have extremely high headroom. So you'd be able to bark as loud as you wanted into this thing and, and it's never gonna clip, it's never going to do anything funny. But anyway, I, just, I really just wanted to share this with you because the, the, these are so cool. 
they, they are, one, one last thing, they're a little, these mid-Atlantic racks, they're, they're bigger than we need. So I think we're gonna have Bob's, our chief engineer, Bob's son come in and whack off the backs because our studio is kind of limited in space. But anyway, I, I just, it, this is so exciting. These um, all hand built in Greece with a lot of love and care. J.I., thank you. These are gorgeous. And I can't wait to share with you how they sound in the Octave Records DSD Studios We'll have another video and show it to you. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.